In today's video, we will discuss the 10 best suspense thriller movies on Netflix. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. At number 11 we have, Soft and Quiet is about a kindergarten teacher, Emily, who organizes a meeting of the daughters for Aryan unity. The meeting is cut short, leading Emily to invite the others to her home. A confrontation at a store leads to a violent encounter with Asian American sisters Anne and Lily. The group ends up at Anne's home, where they vandalize the property and discover Anne and Lily. The invaders bind and gag the sisters, leading to a tense standoff. The call. <laughs> At number 10, we have The Call is about Sayin, a woman from 2019 who connects with Young Suk, a woman from 1999, through a phone call. They exchange information about their lives, and Sayin's reality changes when Young Suk prevents a fire that killed Sayin's father. However, Young Suk becomes resentful when her life remains the same while Sayin's improves. Sayin learns that Young Suk was supposed to be killed by her mother during an exorcism and warns her. <laughs> Young Suk saves herself, kills her mother, and becomes a serial killer. Sayin realizes this when Young Suk's victims disappear in the present day. Run. <laughs> At number 9 we have, Run is about a teenager, Chloe, who is confined to a wheelchair and homeschooled by her mother, Diane. Chloe becomes suspicious of Diane when she discovers a prescription for a dog muscle relaxant that can cause leg paralysis in humans. Chloe's investigation reveals that Diane's real daughter died shortly after birth, and that Diane stole baby Chloe. But I will spend every minute of our lives making sure you never feel that way again. The movie is a psychological horror thriller that explores the dark secrets a mother can harbor, and the lengths she will go to protect them. Prisoners. He knows where this guy is. Why aren't you telling me? This ain't right. Why? This guy's a fake. The girls are still out there. At number eight, we have Prisoners. The movie is about Keller Dover, a father facing every parent's worst nightmare when his daughter Anna and her friend Joy go missing. The only lead is a dilapidated RV that had earlier been parked on their street. When the police arrest a young suspect, and release him due to lack of evidence. Keller takes matters into his own hands. With anybody? We found something. Every day, she's wondering why I'm not there. Me, not you, not you. He kidnaps the suspect, Alex Jones, and begins to torture him for information about his daughter. This leads to a series of events that keeps the audience on the edge of their seats. Nightcrawler. Turn away from... 911, what's your emergency? We want all of this! At number 7 we have, Nightcrawler follows Lou Bloom, a driven and ambitious man who discovers the lucrative world of crime journalism in Los Angeles. Lou becomes a freelance stringer, capturing and selling grisly footage of accidents and crimes to local news stations. As he climbs the ladder of success, Lou's unethical methods and ruthless ambition led him down a dark path. I know that today's work culture no longer caters to the job loyalty that could be promised to earlier generations. What I believe is that good things come to those who work. The film has been praised for its dark and satirical portrayal of the media industry and for Gyllenhaal's powerful performance. Caliber. I'm so sorry. That's not gonna be enough. 
I'm still going to be nearly enough. At number six, we have Caliber is about Marcus, an Edinburgh businessman. He takes his friend Vaughn on a hunting trip in the Scottish Highlands. The tragic accident leads to the death of a boy and his father. Marcus convinces Vaughn to hide the bodies and act normal, leading to a series of events that spiral out of control. Let's go! The movie is a psychological thriller that explores the consequences of a single moment's decision and its far-reaching effects. It's a tense and gripping film that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Emily, the criminal. You told me it was a one-time thing with her. I want my cut. I just lost everything! People just keep taking from you until you make the goddamn rules yourself. At number five, we have Emily, the criminal is about Emily Bonetto, a young woman saddled with student debt and locked out of the job market due to a criminal record. Desperate for income, she gets involved in a credit card scam that pulls her into the criminal underworld of Los Angeles. Emily's life takes a turn when she meets Youssef, one of the organizers of the scam, and they hatch a plan to bring their business to the next level. Hey, get out of the car. We're serious people. They should be scared of us. This film is a gripping exploration of black market capitalism and the lengths people will go to survive. It received positive reviews for its screenplay and Aubrey Plaza's performance. Nocturnal Animals It's fun to kill people. We should try it sometime. <laughs> At number four we have Nocturnal Animals is about Susan Morrow, an art gallery owner who receives a novel manuscript from her ex-husband, Edward Sheffield. The novel, titled Nocturnal Animals. I really wanted to be this person that you thought I was. Is a disturbing tale of a family vacation that turns violent and deadly. As Susan reads the manuscript, she begins to see similarities between the story and their former relationship. She finds herself recalling her first marriage and confronting some dark truths about herself. Knives Out. You know something. Spill it. Oh my God. Tell me what happened to my grandfather. At number three, we have Knives Out is about the investigation into the death of Harlan Thrombey, a successful novelist and publishing house owner. After his 85th birthday party, Harlan is found dead in his study with his throat slashed. The police rule it a suicide, but private detective Ben Blank, played by Daniel Craig, suspects foul play. This is a twisted web, and we are not finished untangling it. Not yet. Blank sifts through a web of red herrings and self-serving lies from Harlan's dysfunctional family and devoted staff to uncover the truth. I'm thinking of ending things. When time passes through us, <laughs> blowing like cold wind. At number two we have, I'm thinking of ending things is about a young woman who, despite having second thoughts about their relationship, takes a road trip with her boyfriend Jake to his family farm. She begins to question everything she knew about him and herself, as she notices strange changes in Jake and his parents. The film intercuts with scenes of an elderly janitor's mundane life, and both stories intersect by the third act. People like to think of themselves as points moving through time, but I think it's the opposite. This American surrealist psychological thriller, directed and written by Charlie Kaufman, is an exploration of regret, longing, and the fragility of the human spirit. Forgotten? At number one, we have Forgotten is about Jin Seek, a young man who moves into a new house with his family. One night, he witnesses his brother Yu Seek being kidnapped. Yu Seek returns 19 days later with no memory of his abduction. Jin Seek starts noticing strange changes in his family and realizes they are imposters. He discovers that he is not a young man in his 20s but actually a man in his 40s. 
The man impersonating his brother is the sole survivor of a sinister tragedy, and Jin Seek is the prime suspect. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.